greatest people I've met, including great warriors, you might say, are great in no small part because they're articulate. I know a, a former special services, special operations soldier, Jocko Willink. Some of you might know about Jocko. Um, he's got a pretty decent online following, and you know he's about four feet wide and about three feet thick, and he's one tough son of a bitch. I'll tell you, you don't want to mess with him, and he knows perfectly well and is very capable of articulating the fact that his success as an eminent warrior is in no, lar no small part dependent on his ability to communicate. Because he could communicate well, he could listen to the men un who were under his command. Because he was articulate, he could explain to his superiors the situation on the ground. Because he was articulate, he could make a case that the men under his command who were deserving would be promoted. Because he could think in an articulate manner, he could plan strategically and not lose battles. Okay, so that's the case for being articulate. And what's the alternative? You want to be inarticulate? You want to say ah, and like, and mmm, and pause, and stumble, and, and, and be unable to formulate a strategy, be unable to elucidate a vision, be unable to compel and convince other people to entice them with, with your with your articulated vision of what might be? You want the opposite of that? That's, why would you want that? You would, you, you, would, you would choose awkwardness over grace? That's, it's preposterous. It's, it's beyond foolish. And I cannot understand for the life of me why this case isn't made in a compelling manner, particularly to young men. And I know it's not being articulated to young men because they're, dropping out of the educational realm in droves. And it's unbelievably sad. So, how do you become articulate? 